fairly soon I'm leaving California and I wanted to do an ultra marathon uh, before I left. So I've been looking for races, but of course with COVID, uh, pretty much everything has been canceled and I had to come up with something else to do. And what I ended up doing, I decided to call the Tour de Chico 50K. The idea is based around the fact that Chico has an amazing trail system. Pretty much everybody in town either runs or hikes or mountain bikes. Um, another thing that I've always admired was how a lot of the European races will often start and finish in a town um, rather than starting at just some parking lot trailhead. Um, and Chico's actually the perfect environment for that sort of thing because we have a trail system that pretty much runs from downtown up into the foothills of Upper Park. So it runs from, you know, more city trails where a lot of the joggers run, a lot of the Chico State cross country track team runs up to the trails that's mainly used by trail runners, hikers, and mountain bikers. So the route I had in mind begins at the city plaza, runs about five miles through flatter in-town trails. These are sort of in the valley, up to the trails in the foothills that are a lot more rugged, rocky, and hilly. And then it'll do a loop on the south side of Upper Park and then cross the bridge and then another loop on the north side of Upper Park and that'll get you back at about mile 25 and then the remaining five miles back to City Plaza. Um, so it ends up being the first five and last five relatively flat um, and then the middle 20 a pretty rocky hilly course. Only about 3,000 feet of vert throughout the entire course but once again it's littered with volcanic rocks. It's very slow going in some places, faster in others. Um, I think a really challenging course. Downtown about to start. I'm gonna get out of here because it's early in the morning. Some weird folks, so I'm out of here. Took off from the city plaza, trying to remind myself that it was gonna be a five hour effort and to take it easy. Not much to report. Four miles in, haven't yet got to the fun part. Still on the flat part. Feeling good though, moving well. All right guys, a little less than six miles in. Still feeling good. Just running some trails. Sorry if this footage sucks. It's hard to film in this orientation. All right, eight miles in. This is bloody pin trail. First big climb. Everything up to here has been super runnable. Now we're headed up to the south rim and then we'll do a little loop, head back. And then I was basically just trying to hang on and keep it easy uh, on that loop. Um, hiked up most of the bigger climb, that's Bloody Pin Trail. Um, and then a couple of offshoots to make the route the distance that I wanted it to be. All right, not quite two hours in, but feeling good. The plan has come up. I'm gonna try and stay reserved until the next big climb, which will start at about 16 to about 20. And then I'll push hard, and then from there it's mostly downhill. I was coming into the halfway point. Um, I knew my dad was crewing me at about mile 16, feeling super good, just trying to save energy until I got to the next big climb. Stop up here? Yep, okay. straight across. The second half was on the rockiest portion of it. I was starting to hurt, but feeling okay. Second climb. This is the rocky part of North Rim. Rocky and steep in some places. This is the crux of the biscuit, 18 miles in. Finally made it to mile 26, where my dad was waiting with a few more gels um, and couple more sips of coke um, and at that point I was pretty shattered I kind of hoped that I'd be able to fly back on the flat section um, at like 730 pace but there was really not that much right left time. in my legs just can't really roll it's so rocky especially after 20 
five or something. Need some help. No, I'm good. I don't need too many more, thankfully. On the way back, the last flat five miles, I was finding it super hard to keep running. Um, I stopped and walked for a few seconds at one point and then told myself I had to keep going. Um, it was really hurting at that point. Um, but at one point, I thought that I was shuffling so slow that I could walk at the same pace and I looked down at my watch and it was still like 840 per mile. I was breaking it down, telling myself just go one more mile until I had two miles left and then until I had one mile left and then and then it was all pretty much over. Shuffled into City Plaza after 31 miles. Um, overall, it was a pretty good run. I finished in 5.08. Um, wasn't my best 50K, but I would say it was pretty close. Everything went according to plan. I was able to eat something like 14 or 15 gels successfully. No stomach distress at all. I didn't bonk. Um, really a great effort and a nice way to end the year before leaving California. Um, it's been a lot of fun and I honestly think that route really should be a race someday. Um, it really does show the most beautiful parts of Chico um, and starts and finishes downtown. So I think the atmosphere could be really cool. Anyway, that's my end of the year effort. Hope everyone's having a great year and training despite all of the cancellations is going well. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.